Right, this is stage four. Oh, stage four unleashed. Fifteen gold, four hours remaining. What's that going to come up then? Right, here we go. Enter. You'll have to complete control of the stupid arrow and win this race without any steering assists. Two laps at Dubai. Well, there's an effort coming over the top of it now. Well, there's a normal one, uh, International Circuit Dubai. Two laps, and the assists are cut down. None of that matters. Are we in chase for you or? No, we're good for you. Uh, I don't know if we've got the avatars or not, I don't really need them anyway. I'll take it easy ish. Little like there'll be enough room down at right hand side to start with, but there is plenty. Slot myself around the corner without touching too much. But this might be uh, easy peasy. It's going, uh, no going off the track might be different. It'll run up on the inside. I won't be losing from it. Try and preserve energy. The map up the top left there gives you an idea of where the track's going. So it shows you the uh, real big air pins and stuff, real tight ones. Out of all the tracks, I probably don't know this Dubai. This, you know, you're probably out of all the tracks, this Dubai is the least familiar to me, I've raced it the least out of all of them. That one you can go flat out, it's just this one you have to break for. The previous ones that looks like you might have to break but you don't. It's very slow through that bit. Now we we'll go through round the right, it'll go up straight up the top and then another right hand another right hand one in the finish line. Which is quite a quite a tight one and the finishing line's just here. And it's quite near the front of this uh, straight here as well, I think. Yeah, it's here. A lot of them, the uh, finishing line's right at the end of the straight, this one's not. Uh, just change to chase view. Uh, try and get into the. If it comes to. Um, you're not allowed to skid, which it probably will. Most of the other ones before have come, you're not allowed to skid in it. I doubt whether I'll be able to do that on Chase View. My logo down the bottom there. The RRG on the bottom right, that's Real Racing Guru. And the one on the left is uh, one of the four, I'm a member of a few of the forums. Uh, and this particular one, the Legends Forum, that's the logo of that. Uh, it's the only logo out of all the forums that I do put on. Because uh, it's a. Uh, you can't hack the game or anything like that. Um, your stats are checked before you go into that forum. Uh, now, only allow people in that uh, have played the game legitimately, so anyone who's uh, done hacks. And, so if you've been playing for like 10 hours and you've got, you know, the typical hack where you've got 2146 gold and 2146 um, racing dollars, millions that is, that's probably more than that, it's more than that, billions or something stupid, uh, you won't get into that. It's just for legitimate uh, races that have earned their way in the game. Right, well, that's the end of that one. Done it so quick. Six thousand one hundred and fifty. That one. So that's worth about seven thousand in total with the clean race bonus. Uh, 
I've probably gone through about halfway through the service, I'd guess. That was stage four. Yeah, that stage four cut, just the confirmation of that. And again, that arrow on the right hand side. If you want to click that, I'll just have a picture of that. That will show you your time overall and it'll also give you your best lap so you can again compare that with other cars. Uh, right, continue. Right, we've gone down about halfway, what I thought. Uh, continue again. Little, uh, little tip coming through. Not going to bother putting it on. You can see them as you go through them anyway. Well, that is goal one of six. Oh. Right, so I've only got four hours remaining on this, so I'm going to have to do probably three or four of these and then put it back in service and do the last ones afterwards. Right, this is on the unleashed uh, stage, stage four, goal two. Another tip, don't smash up your car. Contrary to popular belief, speed holes aren't real and bits hanging off your car tend to slow you down. Win this race without damaging your car. Right, these normally are a bit uh, more tricky to do, these. And you'll find that the other cars will probably try and crush into you as well to damage your car. Um, right, win this race without damaging your car. So you've got to be a bit more careful um, the way you go around the track here. That's at Mazda Laguna Seca. Uh, it's going to be two laps. You've got to try and avoid the uh, usual areas where you're going to get crushed. Um, I'd better go into my normal view. For those of you who only just started playing, you're probably better off in chase view. Um, because you can see a lot more what's going around you. I mean, I can't see anybody to my left, although there is obviously going to be somebody there. Now, lots of times I, I crash into the back of cars. I think just gentle, gentle nudging will probably be all right. But it's if you crash into the back of somebody. I mean, I've already gone side by side with a couple of cars there already. I think it just means you, that you can't crash into the back of somebody. Like I was going to do there. And I've gone off the track. That ain't good, is it? It's not flashed up that I've... Um, I failed though, so I'm going to carry on. Looks like they're actually all slowing down and waiting for me. The only problem with recording this onto a uh, monitor is that I watch the monitor, but if you fail uh, an event or anything like that, it actually comes up on the iPad and not the, the, not the monitor. So I'm trying to look between the monitor and the iPad. But it's certainly not saying I've failed. Or not that I've seen anyway. Where are we after that first lap? Uh, with that sun on top right, it's a bit difficult to uh, see. Fourth. Hopefully we're all right. Time will tell. Gonna take that any uh, any more extreme? I'm gonna just buy me time on this little corner. Eh? I'll sweep past him nearer the end, I think, because it's the. I'd imagine they're gonna 
probably cut you off as much as they can. I'll stick on the right hand side here, it'll probably break a bit earlier than me. We will see if that going off the track caused me to foul that or not. I don't think it did, so, because I didn't see it flash up. I'm also finished this uh, race, the car will be probably just about in need of service, so I might get one more out of it. Let's have a look, see if I've done it or not. Race complete. Usual, yet another advert. These adverts are getting more and more and more. That was five and a half thousand racing dollars. And usual clean race bonus, so that's probably about another six bears or something on like that. Fame. Don't think that went anywhere. On the, on the really low level, I think your fame will probably go up. Oh, this is just confirmation of the race. And don't forget about that right hand uh, arrow for your best lap time if you want to look at that. Continue. Roll one segment away from needing a service. Uh, another little racing tip about changing the camera button and stuff. So, you know, these adverts are all good for beginners, but they are. Right, that was goal two. Alright, complete thing. Right, goal three. Here's the final stage the breaking. Oh, we're on 83% now. The final stage to braking mastery is to race without any braking assists. Follow the lead car stay within 100 yards and or 91 metres and also don't damage your car, so don't crash into your back again basically. Follow the lead car stay within 100 yards, right Edna? Well, I think that's said Silverstone, didn't it? Right, Silverstone, follow the car, Grand Prix circuit, so it's quite a long, this is the longest track at Silverstone, there's about four different ones at Silverstone, it's the longest one. I'm just going to... Uh, Hopefully he will break in the same sort of race. Now I, I don't break here, I'm just hoping he don't. I don't know why he was breaking there. Right, he's going to break here because it's a right hand corner. The brake lights are very dim on um, this car. I don't know if it looked better on an, I on an iPad or an iPhone or just a phone, whatever you're using. I don't really want to get too close to him because he's just in case he breaks. They're just not very bright, those lights, are they? So when he breaks far more than I would break. I'll stay back here a little bit just in case he uh, so I wouldn't break here at all but he is I'll try and second guess what he's likely to do he's going to go over to the left and then yeah so he's breaking here as well perhaps I should hang back a little bit more but I can't resist it Keep him well within the hundred yards, that's a sh that's a uh, uh, is this the finishing line up here? We've gone through the little uh, chicane thing, have we? Oh, well, that was alright. Goal complete. Mm, 
1950 a bit of bonus for the other bit. Well, that was just confirmation of the race. Continue. Well, definitely in the service now. So I'll try and see if we can get one more race out of it. Might, might not. Well, this one, goal four of six. Let's see how you do with training wheels removed. Win this event with both steering and braking assists turned off. So if you haven't uh, driven as much, it's going to be, get a bit more difficult now. I might be able to do this, I might not. So this is definitely going to be the last one. Right, it's in Mount Panorama, which um, top speed is always important, so I might not be able to uh, win this one. I might be coming back to do this one again later. You can use these uh, squares, stars, you see cars with stars and all that on them. Um, they don't cost you any gold or racing dollars or anything to do that. Just go to customize on the uh, main screen. Once you get pick your car, then you do customize, then go to vinyls and click basic shapes and just choose a colour from the right hand side. Oh, it's elimination, I didn't see that. I thought this was an actual race race, it's just elimination. Uh, right, so you gain and move behind because I've not got much of a top speed anymore. I'll try and block him off a bit if I can. I'll sneak up on the right hand side here and break late. This car is well into service, so I'm, I'm going to lose the top speed of here, but round the corners I should be. Okay, so I'll sneak up inside of him. This is all uphill now for about 10 seconds or whatever. Uh, then you go down quite a lot of uh, a big downhill, downhill for quite a while. So I'm going to try and get up past that one in front before that. So I should be able to compete with him here around all these bends. I'm trying to get in front of him here actually. Crash something terrible there. That was lucky. I'm lucky I didn't hit that wall and get stuck there. That was extremely lucky. But it didn't say anything about without smashing the car up. Now we'll gain on me here. Going to chase. God, that looks so good there, does it? Well, it's 170 yards beyond me. This long downhill section. He should really be. Uh, I thought he'd be catching me. Well, that was terrible. Probably because I've gone into this chase here. So a lot of you will prefer this chase here. Just it just doesn't save my mind. But. Only 20 behind me, four seconds to go. Uh, we look like we're going to do it. My set finished, doesn't it? I got lucky there. It's worth 4,350, plus a bit of bonus. So probably 5,000 you get for that. Just a confirmation, that's stage four. Continue. 
I'm not just show you where the car still is in service. That's the state it was in uh, before that race and after it didn't actually change. So I'm going to service that now and come back um, later on for the other two.